Hey guys, it's been a while since I did a, an update on what I'm doing here. So, what I done was this, is um, I'm trying to finish this French battalion right here. Um, like I said before, one soldier equals 12 men. So, each one of these groupings is company. So, you have your grenadiers, then you have your your line and the, then you have the Voltic Airs there. So I'm, I'm trying to finish these guys up, finishing these guys up here, um, messing around with some Brits there, doing some um, Brunswick artillery right there, some Prussian artillery there, uh, some British foot there, and some Royal Horse there, which I got a lot of work to do on them. and. There's a royal horse there. Um, I just picked up this stuff here, this um, quick shade stuff. And I'm gonna see what this is all about. Uh, I remember when I was doing my 172nd scale plastics that um, I used wood stain. I, I would use wood stain on the plastics because it would seal the plastic because there's actual oil on the AFX plastic. So the stain would actually give a nice seal and a coating on it. So my paint would stay, it would stay. So when I chip off, if anyone that's ever painted the, um, the AFX plastics, then you know that um, when you do paint them, the type of plastic that they're made out of didn't really hold paint too well, um, especially if you used the military flats, it would it would come off. Um, I had a box of these things hanging around. So um, the type of the type of plastic it is, it's just kind of a rubbery type plastic. So and it's oil based. So you can wash them and get get that um, that oil off it, so they could come out of the, the molds, uh, the release agent. But what would happen is you'd paint them, and they would, they would chip off pretty pretty badly. So what I did was I, I used regular wood stain, which was like eight bucks at at the time. It was probably anywhere from yeah anywhere from three dollars to eight dollars, depending on the size of the can you got. Now, um, I've, I've been watching a lot of videos on this quick shade, this army paint and stuff, so I'm going to try this, see what this is all about. Uh, I know a couple of you guys are already doing it, so I'm going to I want to check it out. Usually, I, I, I use the Siddle stains and washes and do that, but I, I want to check that out. So, what I used to do is I used a regular wood stain, and I would dip these in it, and, or brush them, whatever, to give them a, a coat. A sealing coat so I, the paint would stick with it and it's actually it's actually worked over the years so um, what I'll do is I'd like to show you something too I picked up a couple of mags which um, I'll do a I'll do a second one but this one here this is um, issue number three it's a UK import and it's a uh, limited edition Kelly's heroes and I found this in a hobby store which is pretty cool and uh, I'll do a, I'll do an in-depth one on this one. Uh, so I picked up this one, Cinema Retro Movie Classic Special Edition Kelly's Heroes. I found this one here. Um, this is the Battle of the Bulge. It's, it's a Japanese model magazine like Tamaya, and it's got a lot of neat stuff in it. But most of all, it's it's got this thing, which is um, the Chaffee and the Patton. Not the 48, but the 26. And then we have, I found this one too, which was uh, the other Cinema Retro with the Bridge River Morgan. So what I'll do is, um, I'll do a second, I'll do a second video on those mags. But what I was doing was this, is I was, you know those projects you never finish? Well, I was doing this, the Chaffee and the Patton. Of course, it's supposed to represent the German King Tiger. We know that, you know, hey, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah, so um, let me do that. So I just wanted to show 
what I'm doing here as far as um, taking care of business and getting this stuff done you know and then I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try this crap here and see if that works and see what kind of results I'm getting but um but I've been I've been messing around trying to get this stuff done in either way so I can begin the other stuff um, so that's from the bench. Uh, as you see, I still got a lot more stuff going on here. I just got the Hail Caesar um, uh, from the movie. Um, oh God, what's his name? I'm, I'm having a brain fart here. Um, Russell Crowe. So that's supposed to be his representation in in lead. So hold the line and unleash hell which were pretty cool things from from uh, World War Games. So this was this was the, the pattern that I was making, which was going to be the command of this tank for the Battle of the Bulge. So I never really finished it, and I, probably because I was in the middle of selling my house. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to make that and this, the Chaffee, which was the tank that Telly Savalas was in. Oh, not cool. Oops, and there we have an injury. So I'll end up having to fix that up. But, um, so I was doing that. And then I came, ac I, I, I came across these and I thought it was pretty cool. And the one here, the Battle of the Bulge, I thought was pretty neat and that's that's the movie cover right there